If you want to use still images in your video, you may want to consider animating them, which means moving them around on screen so there's more of a visual flow as you cut between real video clips and still images. You may have noticed that when you bring in a still image into iMovie, it actually automatically starts to animate the picture, but we can do some things in order to customize that effect on the timeline. So let's bring in a still image down onto the timeline. Got a snowy plover here. And you'll see as we play through, it automatically has applied what's called a Ken Burns effect inside iMovie after the director of those famous um, factual documentaries where he uses a lot of still images and animates them across the screen to illustrate different points. But how can we change this if we say if we don't want to have a zoom in here? Well, we select the clip on the timeline and then we select this crop tool up here. And once we've selected that uh, tab, I should say, we've got different options and the Ken Burns option is already selected. If we select some of these, it just shows the image static on the screen so we can change how it's cropped perhaps under crop to fill. We can also uh, decrease the crop size a little bit to kind of get a tighter look at the snowy plover or we can fit to screen but by doing that we've got these black bars on either side we get to see the edge of the image and that's because the um, still photo was shot at a different aspect ratio than um, the aspect ratio of HD video. So let's go back to Ken Burns and you'll see we've got two boxes here uh, we've got one that says end and one that says start so in order to tell iMovie how you want to animate the image we just need to change the position and sizes of these boxes. At the moment we've got that nice kind of zoom in um, but we could also reduce the size of the start box to the same size as that of the end box. We could move it over there and now if we get the sometimes it can be tricky to get the end box but we can move end box to one side, get the start box again and just line those up and now what we've got is a pan left to right and we could do all sorts of things with that information. Now we could do like a diagonal movement, in fact let's start from the top right hand corner and move down to the bottom left. If we play through we could combine a pan with a zoom. So if we take the end box, we could actually zoom out to see the full picture here. So if we make the end box bigger than the start, now we play through. We've kind of got a shot that reveals the snowy plover in the picture. So that's how you animate still images in iMovie.